A rushna chok is an embroidered scarf, a reminder of Ukrainian values in a changing world. There is a musical group, also called rushna chok, known worldwide. Many simply called them the Ukrainian Beatles for their musical innovation, their stage presence, character, and harmony. <laughs> This is the story of four friends and the band they call Rushnichok. It's about an enduring love for traditional Ukrainian music and the imprint this quartet has left on Ukrainian life long after they went off to pursue their individual careers. But every so often, without fanfare, Rushnichok regroups to sing and to play for close friends they've met along the way. It's quite a kick to be with the same guys we started with in 1969 and it's 1993 and it's still the same four guys and I think we get along as well as we always did, if not better. The music to me is a, is a feeling that's basically, a, it's a feeling that was instilled from early on when my father used to throw songs at me and say, taught me how to play the guitar and uh, it was a song, at least uh, one song or two a week. makes for a stronger Canada when everybody basically remembers their roots, uh, remembers some of, the, some of what you are. Stefan Yurko Yevhen Andri. From the first song they ever played together back on a cold Montreal morning in December 1969, they just knew it would work. They practiced traditional folk songs, turning them into dance numbers for the New Year's party at a newly opened Ukrainian club. They also decided to wear Ukrainian costumes and sashes. And uh, we did that uh, first New Year's Eve, I think, with something like 45 songs. And, uh, and uh, that particular evening, what happened was it was 1 o'clock in the morning, and people say, why don't you play another hour? So basically, we had to go through the 45 songs and once again uh, do uh, some of, I think we did 15 or so that particular evening. We did them again. But I don't think anybody noticed. And so the group's trademark was born. Young entertainers, traditional songs in three-part harmony, songs that made you want to get up and dance. Dance to a band that wore its Ukrainian pride for all to see. Practices started every Wednesday. There were a few engagements, then a breakthrough, an invitation to sing on Parliament Hill. That performance caught the attention of the Ukrainian press and the Ottawa Ukrainian community. By 1972, Canada's largest Ukrainian festival in Dauphin, Manitoba, beckoned. And then, the finest Ukrainian resort, Suzyivka, in the Catskill Mountains of New York State for the 4th of July. In 1973, Rushnachok released its first record. 
Four others would follow in close succession, one a year. They sold internationally and were smuggled, copied and distributed in Ukraine and elsewhere behind the Iron Curtain. Over the next six years, Rushnichok would tour extensively with repeat performances in Los Angeles, Chicago and New York. The northeastern United States and Canadian provinces from Quebec to Alberta. Their largest audience was here at the New Jersey Garden State Arts Festival. 10,000 people came to see them. In August of 1980, Yevhan left to work in the Middle East for a communications company. Stefan moved to Western Canada to become a television reporter. Andri taught music at a Montreal high school, and Yurko finished his MBA and took up new duties as a marketing manager in the Northwest Territories. And so the group parted. In November of 1991, their first major stage appearance in over a decade, a workers' reunion and benefit dance at the Catskill Mountain Resort Suzivka, recorded in this amateur video. In the foothills of Quebec's Laurentian Mountains, near the town of St. Theodore de Chertsey, you'll find a Ukrainian children's camp called Verkhovina. It's one of three within a 25-kilometer radius. Here, Ukrainian camp songs and Sunday church services have blended with the rich Quebecois flavor of the region. Uh, the 40 children that we have here are between ages of 6 and 12, and they're here to have a good time with each other. <laughs> We're trying to accomplish, uh, to give them the Ukrainian heritage, culture and traditions, as well as to keep the Ukrainian language alive in Canada. Mostly, this camp is sun and fun and, of course, good food. The members of Rushnichok spent many years at Berkhovena, some of them as campers themselves, singing and playing around the campfire. Well, uh, it was the first time that my parents sort of left me for a couple of weeks, so I went through sort of a little bit of readaptation, you know, because uh, you know how it is when you're just alone at six years old, first time around. I think your son is here for the first time, is he not? And, uh, but after a while you get used to it and you get to enjoy it and, uh, and it's changed so much since I was here. It's really nice to see. We've been with these kids for many, many years. So a lot of the songs we do on our albums are songs that all these kids have been singing. But today, it's the children who have prepared a song with the help of camp music teacher Oksana Senkyu.
actually, I met my wife here. She's a childhood sweetheart of mine. You met your wife here when you were 12, 13? I have a picture to prove it. Oh, yeah. It's on my fridge wall. I can't uh, express how, how it feels, but I try to live the songs as I, as I uh, sing them. I, I put an image in my head and uh, I just uh, pour out the emotion that's there that should be in the song. When we got together, we spent all of three hours sitting and, and, and just playing, not really talking all that much to each other. And it all just seemed to flow in. It, it seemed to be one nice get-together of friends. It's from your roots that you can grow and then you can really appreciate the majesty of this wonderful country called Canada. We can do this uh, from time to time for a long time to come. Hi everybody, this is Stefan Andrusiak. We hope you've enjoyed this reprise of the film Rushnechok and Friends. Log on to iTunes where you can download all of Rushnechok's recordings. Thank you. Previtori i gledači, ca Stefan Andrusiak. Možete zdobuti vsi zapesani pisni ansamblju Rushnechok na websajti iTunes. Ščerenko vam djakuj.